Now while we are discussing these home fires here, let us clarify a few things and speak of these fires in depth. Because evidently you are not receiving the true message I am sending out here. Now we do have two kind of fires going on. I have a fire and you had a fire. Because you see, your fire has just about burned out. It could be that you've been flicking your big so much elsewhere until you done run out of fuel. I don't know this. All I know is this house is cold. There haven't even been any ashes in this fireplace recently. And I am about to add a third fire here. An outside fire. Now this fire has not yet started because I thought you should know the consequences of getting a fire started on the outside. Now I am not talking about dropping a little lit match somewhere on a wet day. I am talking about burning down a whole damn county. Smokey the Bear would hate me after this. Now only you can prevent this forest fire. You can start by getting the fire started right here. I don't mean just one of them little smoke signals going up because your name ain't Geronimo. Now either you do this or there are going to be enough sparks flying around here till the whole neighborhood go to think it's the 4th of July because I'm declaring my independence. My right for a man to offer me a tipperillo. Oh yes, I'm gonna be smoking. Now I know you don't want this to happen. Cause once you get an outside fire started, you can't control it. Every time you think you done about smothered it, a good gust of wind come through and set that Mickey Ficky on fire again. And you could end up with a wildfire. And wildfires do have a tendency to spread. Oh no, don't think you can start a fire across town and it's gonna stay over there. If you mess around and get burnt, it's gonna beat you home. And ain't no need to tell your old lady nothing about it. I can't do nothing this week, baby. I was lifting something down too heavy at the job and I got a strain. Nobody. The strain gonna be on your ass. Cause you done messed around and let these outside fires reach your house. And when an outside fire spread all the way to your house, whoo -la. You wake up one morning and your house is on fire. Building collapsing down around your ass. And you in trouble. I ain't bullshit, you in trouble, boy. I'm talking about the heat is on. The heat is on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All oh, the heat is on. And when that much heat get in your house, Niagara Falls couldn't put that Mickey Ficky out. And strange things starts happening around the house. And then you come home one day, lo and behold, there's a different kind of law in the fireplace. A log bigger than yours. A longer log than yours. And it just burns for hours. Even after the log burned down, the coals stay hot. Then you know your ass in trouble. It's time for you to gather your twig and split. Now, I want to tell you something here. This is what is about to happen in our situation. I've been checking out the logs in the neighborhood. Nice logs. In fact, there's a whole goddamn forest out there. 
And I am ready with my axe to chop down the first tree I see, baby. I want you to know this. So what I suggest you do here, if you want to keep these home fires burning, is do like they do when they go downtown shopping. If you see something you want and you don't have the money or it might be a little too expensive or whatever the case is right now, now ain't the time for you to get it. If you really want it, you ought to put it in the layaway. <laughs> 